Welcome to a PC edition of NCIX Tech Tips, filmed by the crazy Russian himself. Yes, he's back there. Maybe I can even uh, adjust the TV to give you guys a, 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 a glimpse at him. But today I'm going to be showing off a few things from his crazy Russian laboratory, and this is going to be the PC lineup that is going to take us into the new year 2012, which is the last year that will ever matter. So, we've got three systems here today, the Vesta FX 3050CE, and depending when you ask us, it's either Christmas edition or custom edition, depends, okay? We've got the Vesta i5-5350OC, this is one that has done extremely well ever since it launched due to its 4 GHz overclocked CPU, and its water cooling, as well as a nice silent case design, great performance at a very reasonable price point. And then for a performance system, although we can build stuff that's higher performance than this, we have the Vesta i7-6350. So this has got a 6950 graphics card. It's also got a Core i7, also overclocked to 4 GHz, and it uses a Corsair H80 for water cooling rather than the Coolit Eco. Now, you can check all these systems out at our Aberdeen location. In fact, we're filming this and then we're going to take them there now and set them up. So by the time this video is released, you can go check them out, no problem. But we're going to show you on the video, for those who can't go to our Aberdeen Mall location, a little bit more in detail about each of these systems. So let's look at the 3050 CE, the, the custom edition. So the Christmas edition was a white case and it had like a red and green internal lighting scheme. So we kind of did away with that because it's not Christmas anymore. Now we've got a black case, although the spec is pretty much the same. So you've got an FX 4100 quad core processor, it's liquid cooled, which is good. Uh, we've also got a 6850 graphics card, 8 gigs of RAM, a 500 gig drive. Unfortunately, due to the shortages in Thailand, we're not using as large capacity drives as we've been able to in the past at certain price points. But uh, until that situation is resolved, we're going to be stuck with it. We've also got a Seasonic 80 plus bronze power supply that is capable of kicking out about 400, uh, rather 400, about 500 watts of power. So what that means is you can actually run two middle-of-the-road graphics cards like this in the system as long as they only have one PCIe connector that's required in Crossfire or SLI because this motherboard supports both Crossfire and SLI. It's all in a BitPhoenix case. This is the Shinobi and it's available, as I mentioned before already, also in white. $12.99 gets you a 5350OC. I already mentioned this is one of our most popular systems. It comes in the Fractal Design Define R3, which is available in four different colors, white, silver, black, and gray. And then you've also got a bunch of upgrades pretty much across the board on this guy. So it's a 600 watt power supply now, which means that you can actually run um, yeah, it looks like you're still stuck natively with one graphics card requiring two PCIe connectors, but you could run with adapters probably two GTX 560Ti's with no problems whatsoever. You can also get it with a 6950 rather than a 560Ti for no additional charge. It does have a modular power supply now rather than a straight cabled power supply. We're using the Z68 platform, so this is an Intel 2500K now rather than an AMD chip. Still got 8 gigs of RAM, although 8 gigs of RAM is a pretty much a sweet spot for gamers right now in terms of price to performance. Coolit Systems Eco is, allows us to achieve the 4 gigahertz stock overclock. And in terms of storage, we see a big upgrade. We've actually added the Intel 40 gig SSD, uh, 320 series SSD as a cache for its one terabyte system drive. So that means if you check out any of my episodes about caching, you'll see that there is a huge performance gain to be had by stepping up to something that has a caching SSD and has a platform, the Z68 platform, that supports accelerating your hard drive with this technology. Well, oh, sorry guys, I was just admiring the workmanship here. This is our 1899 system, so this is more like in the $2,000 price, price range, which is very high for a gaming system, but it's not so high that you've completely lost track of value either. So rather than going with an Extreme Edition and dual GTX 590s, where the performance per dollar starts to drop off pretty rapidly, we've gone with a 2600K, 16 gigs of RAM, which arguably is a little excessive, but RAM is so cheap these days, an ASUS Pro-level motherboard capable of supporting SLI or Crossfire, 6952 gig graphics card, or you can alternately opt for a GTX 560 Ti 448 core if you prefer the NVIDIA side. All of this is powered by an 
HX750 watt power supply. So something I hope you guys noticed was that for any of these systems we've looked at today, they are running a power supply that is capable of providing power to dual graphics cards in the general configurations that we are shipping them in. So that means unlike some of our competitors who are going with bare minimum on power supply, we're building in a little bit of headroom for you guys. We've also totally upgraded the storage system on this one, so it uses a 120 gig boot SSD as the entire OS storage device rather than using it as a cache and it has two terabytes of additional storage for general storage. We throw it all in a 600T. This is a four gigahertz overclocked CPU so we're, we've gone with a Corsair H80 to cool it and then the 600T is also fantastic for cooling with all the mesh in the front, mesh at the top, mesh at the back and it comes in a couple different colors so you can get it in black or white and you can change the colors of the interior lighting. So thank you for checking out this little PC showcase of our new 2011 lineup. Don't forget to subscribe to NCIX Tech Tips for more videos from your favorite online retailer, NCIX.com.